Hey guys, I am coming with you for your next Tip Thursday. I am just, I was calling through a recent session to um, picking out Instagram images and I realized how many images that I have that are like technically identity protected that I can share. So I thought I would pull them all up and show you guys different ways that I grab identity protected images without just grabbing your stereotypical like close up of the butt, close up of the boobs, all right? So here's a good one great tummy shot. Um, anytime you can just get in for details that aren't necessarily, um, you know, show off those parts of the body that people work hard on. She has a great stomach. So here's just a different angle of that same shot. Legs. Again, showing off that tummy, but the crap where it's like, you can leave in a little bit of their face, a little bit of their mouth. Some mystery there. Um, but it doesn't, Nobody would know who this was unless she told them. Collarbone, I love a good collarbone shot. Full body shot, but you can't tell who that is, of course, unless she told somebody. This one is maybe a little bit, um, shows a little bit more of her face, but it was an approved image, so, but use the hair to hide the face and then you can still get those full body shots without just having to fill your feed with um, a bunch of butts. And there's one more, and then there was the last one. So all of those are Instagram approved because she approved of identity protected images. So I just thought I would share um, some variety for you um, of grabbing identity protected images so that you're more apt to be able to share. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you guys next time.